Eat, not diet. This means two things to me. Number one, finding a way to eat for life where it doesn't feel like you're dieting. And number two, literally getting to the point where you don't have to diet anymore because you're actually eating a lot. Hi, this is Mimi. I currently help my clients with number one, finding their own way to eat for life based on the foods that they like to eat, their lifestyle, and their body type. And I may offer number two in the future. But today, I'm going to give you an overview of how you get to the point where you don't have to diet anymore and also share where I currently am in my journey. First, you can't be dieting all the time. And this is especially true for women, unfortunately. They're always worried about losing weight, losing fat. Eating to lose weight will make you smaller, but it also means that you have to eat less to stay small. At the end of a diet, people generally lose muscle, their metabolism slows down, and they're eating a lot less than they want to. That's why most people quit diets, they rebound, or both. But one of the ways that people are successfully able to lose a lot of weight and keep it off is because they also focus on resistance training. A lot of people who focus on weight loss, fat loss, don't realize that they'd be much more efficient at burning fat if they simply had more muscle. Muscle does help you increase your metabolism and it helps you burn more calories. Constant dieting will only eat away at your muscle, leaving you eating very, very little, skinny fat, or both. What's worse is if you eat low calories for an extended period of time, your body will adapt to that amount of calories and it's gonna think that's what it takes to maintain your body weight, resulting in poor, poor metabolism and someone who eats way too little for their body. Getting to the point of not dieting is about getting your body to be more efficient at burning fat and being able to eat more calories to maintain your weight. It's about building more lean muscle mass working out with enough intensity to give the stimulus for your muscles to grow, and eating the right nutrients to fuel muscle growth, which includes both protein and carbs. It is hard to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time, although it is possible. It is much easier to eat to gain muscle or eat to lose fat. So which do you choose? It depends on where you're starting from. So if you're someone who has some fat, but you're generally okay with how your body looks, then focus on building muscle and you'll eventually lose fat from it. It'll happen slowly at first, but it'll happen and you'll be able to keep it off. Now, if you're not happy with the way you look and you feel like you definitely got some fat to lose, then sure, go on a diet, but go on a short-term eating plan to lose weight and then focus on building muscle and staying lean. I stress that dieting should be short-term and progressive because too aggressive dieting will lead to muscle loss, a lowered metabolism, and the constant need to lower your calories more and more. For those of you who want a step-by-step -step plan, feel free to check out what my DIY eating plan for weight loss video has to offer by clicking above. As an example of where I am today, I've definitely overcome my days of yo-yo dieting. Feel free to click above to check out my series on how I overcame it if you're interested. And I have found my way to eat for life. I mean, I do not eat foods that I don't enjoy. And my own way of eating is a combination of four different concepts of dieting out there. I'm currently building muscle and along with muscle comes fat. There are ways to minimize fat gain when you're building muscle, but just accept the fact that you will gain some fat. I am over 10 pounds heavier than I was last year during off season and around the same level of body fat, which is awesome news. I've definitely gained some muscle. I'm 5'6 and I weigh 160, 263 pounds, which is just crazy. And I absolutely love it that nobody believes I'm as heavy as I am. I'm currently in fluffy mode right now and definitely holding a little more body fat than I want to, but in seven more weeks, I'll be starting my next competition prep. Very excited. I'll share more about my muscle building experience and my starting point for my diet and all of that when I start in December. The goal for me is to become a pro bodybuilder in the figure division. And once I get there, I'm mainly gonna just maintain and get stronger. So I can imagine myself being 150 pounds and looking the way I wanna look, uh, working out five times a week, eating an average of 2,700 calories and over 3,000 calories on my higher days, which is my idea of eating, not dieting. 
I'm basically there. I mean, I could just drop a little body fat to be a little happier with how I look and maintain at an average of 2,500 calories, which is really not that bad. But I'm having days of 3,000 calories right now because I'm trying to build muscle because I'm not sitting in my ideal body right now. And in order to make improvements in the sh in you know shape and tone and how you look, you do need to build muscle. So hence, I'm going through phases of off-season muscle building, getting fluffy, and then contest prep season, getting cut. And some people ask, what's the difference between that and yo-yo dieting? The difference is control. It's also a much more targeted plan. And if you're doing it right, then you're increasing your metabolism so that you can progressively eat more during both off-season prep and contest prep season. Well, that's it for today. Next Wednesday, make sure you stay tuned as I share some interesting facts on metabolism as you get older and what you can do about it. Thanks for watching. In the meantime, please click subscribe, stay tuned, check out my other videos by clicking on these links here or explore my playlist. And feel free to follow me on Twitter at Eat Not Diet or connect with me on Instagram or Facebook at Mimi Bonnie. Thanks for watching.